What's going on everyone? We're out cruising on the citizen bike today, doing some thinking. And I want to get your thoughts on this. And that is, I feel like there's a problem in the e-bike industry right now, specifically related to aftermarket parts, right? And it's, I mean, the first part of the problem is there are none. There's just no aftermarket parts. If you have XYZ e-bike that you bought on Amazon or wherever, even on whatever company website, and you want to go buy a bigger controller to just plug in and get more power, they don't exist. They're not out there. There's very few bikes out there that have just a, a bolt-on, plug-and-play type performance increasing part. They just don't exist. That's the first part of the problem, which leads me into the bigger, I think, part of the problem, which I'm experiencing right now. As someone who's trying to create aftermarket parts, right? I started my website and started selling the front motor kits, which have done great. I, I'm sold out. I took, before the ship even landed in the US with the parts, they were completely sold out. It was a front motor kit that's just plug and play. You put it in your front forks and boom, you got all wheel drive. But I wanna create other performance parts, different wheel sizes, different motor kits, uh, higher amp controllers for everyone. But the problem I'm running into as I investigate this and research this and try to build this is there's no standardization of the wiring and the plugs and the connections and all these e-bikes. So let me give you the quick example, which is I want to make a stronger controller. Most e-bikes come with a 22, maybe 25 amp controller. If you make a 40 amp controller and plug that in, you're going to get a ton more power out of that bike. And I think there's a lot of folks out there that want to do that. But if I make that controller and just put on a set of, you know, this motor plug and that battery plug, the chances of it matching your bike are very slim because I went through all of the bikes in my garage and looked at just the motor plugs and I found six different motor plugs and some of them were female plugs, some of them were male plugs. So if I create an aftermarket controller, now I've got like 12 different variations of motor plugs that I got to contend with. So I can't create a universal controller, which is what I wanted to do. And it's the same with the battery plugs. You know, some use the black two pin connector, some use XT60, some use XT90, some use Anderson power poles, some use a different style. So you got five or so different battery plugs. No two bikes are, seem to be the same. So that's my issue right now. Because if I make that controller and sell it, now I also got to create five different battery connectors and 12 different motor plug connectors <laughs> to, to accommodate everybody plugging it into whatever bike they're going to plug it into. Should I just make the controllers and let you guys figure it out? Figure out how to connect it to all your different style plugs? Or am I supposed to create all these different adapters, which is going to be kind of a pain in the butt, I think. So I don't know. I don't know what to do there. So that's, that's the issue I'm running into. Nothing seems standardized. All the motor plugs are different. All the battery plugs are different. Even down to the headlight plugs are different. Some are three pin, some are two pin. The tail light plugs are different. Some of the throttles plugs are different. Some are four pin, some are three pins. I, I mean, all these, all these different plugs, I can't create universal parts to increase power on a bike. I can do it bike specific, but then you're limited on how many you can sell. So there's my dilemma. What do you guys think? Should they standardize like all the plugs across the board? Why aren't they? I, I find it hard to believe that the companies are doing that so you can't use their stuff on other bikes. I don't think they're thinking that far ahead, but I don't know, but I, I feel like people want to aftermarket modify their bikes a little bit, especially for more power. I mean, I was able to get my hands on a few aftermarket motors and controllers and adapters and things. And, you know, I had to DIY myself this monster right here, right? The Citizen Bike 4.0 dual 750 motors, dual 52 volt batteries. Uh, very strong acceleration and performance out of this thing. And if it weren't for companies like Area 13 e-bikes who had aftermarket controllers meant for a rad, that's kind of what I used to modify to build this thing. If it weren't for those few parts, I couldn't build this. So I want to increase the availability of those parts out there so people can build their own stuff like this. Watch this acceleration. Ready? That is the front wheel squealing as we lay rubber down the greenway this thing is crazy this thing just has such a good pull even from a rolling start you just it just launches itself crazy 
but I want people to be able to build stuff like this. So I want to create more parts for them that are available in the aftermarket. But I mean, what, what should I do there? Put in the comments, let, let me know your thoughts. What do I do there? How do I do this without also creating 12 million adapters? But interested to hear what you got to say. But another thing I want to tell you about this citizen bike, which I can't believe I'm going to say this out loud, but I haven't been on this in a couple of months and I jumped on it to ride it today. And normally when I get on this, it's such a thrill ride and I love it. I wasn't overly impressed with it anymore because I've got other bikes, I think that are pretty close in power to this. The bikes are catching up. <laughs> they're catching, they're catching up to this finally. The, you know, I've been on bikes like the EMX Ultimate, which is 60 volt battery, 60 volt system and dual 750s. This is 52 dual 750s. And also the all wheel drive wired bike that I built. You know, I put my front motor kit on the front, which is a 750 motor with a 45 amp controller. And then the wired has its existing 1500 watt motor that peaks at like 2400 watts on the back. So when I got on this today, I'm like, it felt kind of normal because I've been riding those other two. They're pretty equivalent power wise. I don't know that this citizen bike is top performer anymore. Honestly, I think that that dual motor wired I built, I think that might be the top performer. So the citizen bike, I don't know if I modify it some more or what do I do from here? Because it's kind of junky. <laughs> I'm riding it around like, man, this is kind of junky. That that all wheel drive wired I built is it that thing looks factory because there's not a wiring mess. Everything was plug and play. This is kind of a wiring mess and just this is a true Frankenstein of a uh, homemade creation. Let me uh, put it in the light so you can see what horribleness exists on this citizen. All right, so right here, look at this nest of wires here. All right, and then I didn't bother to make anything look pretty. I just zip tied this mass of wires to the frame. I've got wires right here that are wrapped around the frame because there was extra slack. Horrible soldering connections because you know none of my plugs matched or anything, so I had to create my own and I just I didn't do a nice crisp clean job on this thing I it was the first one I ever built so it's not pretty but man does it work well but other people have caught me now furious e-bikes uh, wired they're they're catching up to the performance of this thing squealy burnout from a roll so there you go that's what's going on in my world some of the parts I want to create are stronger controllers, different size motor kits for the front, possibly a rear motor kit, maybe some different size wheels, things like that. But let me know what other aftermarket parts you guys are seeking, and I'll, I'll try to get those on the website as well. It's citizenperformance.com is the site I'm building out. But uh, that's what's happening here, trying to figure all that stuff out and, and realizing that the citizen bike is becoming close to obsolete here. I may have to put it in a, my dad's coming like next week. So I may have to put this bike into a head to head matchup with Furious and the all wheel drive wired to see what happens. I'm gonna say this might be dethroned. It might be, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know, thanks for watching. All right, one last time, let's give it a zero to 30. I'm gonna pedal too, you ready? Here we go, three, two, one, go. Oh, right there. Woo! Quick. Quick. Atta girl.